guys, so it is uh, another start of a weekly vlog. Today is Monday and it's week number seven. So today I'm going to go and visit Amy once my support worker gets here. My support worker gets here at 10. Then I'm going to go and visit Amy um, for about an hour and then I've got to come back because I have a meeting with the agency that manages my support workers. Just a normal meeting, nothing out of the ordinary. And then, um, yeah, that should be our day. My camera should come at some point today, and I'm really excited about that. So hopefully this is the last clip with bad quality, um, or the last few clips, because I'll probably vlog at Amy's before I get my camera. Um, so I'm really excited about getting a new camera. It's a really exciting week for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go and just wait for my support worker, and then we'll be on our way. Hi guys, so I am here with Amy. Hello. She's recovering okay? Yeah, yeah not too bad. Yeah, doing okay, cons all things considered. Yeah. So we're just sitting around and um, having a chat. I have to leave at some point because I have to go to the shops before my appointment. But other than that, yeah, not doing much. Pia's sitting here too. So. <laughs> so you'll probably see more of her next week because she's minding me for four days while my mum gets away, <laughs> supporting me, supporting me, <laughs> babysitting. Yeah, we love correct terminology. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, you'll see more of her, and that's pretty much all we're up to. My new cameras arrived. It's the Canon G7X. So I'm just going to open it up. I've just got all the warranties, um, the charging cable looks like, and here is my baby. That's what the camera looks like, and I've got to figure out how to work it. There we go. It's, it has the flip up screen for when I'm vlogging. It has a lot more settings than my other camera. So I'm really excited to use this. Hi guys, so I'm filming on my new camera. Um, this afternoon I had a seizure. It wasn't a big one, but it left me pretty tired. So I've just been laying down. But I do have my new camera, as you saw in the last clip. And it's so much better quality so far than the old one so i hope you can see a difference in the two clips i definitely feel a difference using this camera um so please bear with me as i figure out how to use it and all the things i need to learn but yeah that's pretty much what's happening i'm gonna have a lay down tomorrow um i i want a pet turtle basically um tomorrow we are going and getting the tank um we got a really good deal on a tank, so I don't have my license and I don't have the turtle yet, but I'm getting one. Um, as you saw in my last vlog, I was at a friend's house who has a turtle and they're so, so gorgeous. So I think I really want one. So <laughs> um, we're just going to go and get the tank tomorrow and then apply for my license. So I'll take you along for that tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is now Tuesday, so today I am going and picking up a fish uh, turtle tank, which I'm really excited about because it's one step closer to getting my turtle, and then my niece and nephew and their mum um, live around where, uh, where we're getting the tank from, so I'm going to go and see my niece and nephew hopefully, so that should be good. Today's makeup, I'm actually really happy with. Oh wow, this camera picks it up so much better than my old one. Sorry, I'm very excited about this camera. I use the Sports Girl Beauty Sweet Treats Blush and Bronzer Palette. And this is what the container looks like. Um, and then for my lips, I've got my favourite Colourpop Ultra Sudden Lip in Alyssa on. So um, I don't know how much I'll film with the kids. Yeah, I'm just going to go and get, finish getting ready and then go get this turtle tank so I can get a turtle. Yay! Look at these kangaroos. 
there's so many of them they're all around this is definitely Australia Oh wow, that's so good. So we have picked up the turtle tank, it's in the back, you can sort of see it there, um, and we just had lunch, I just had a milkshake, I'm feeling sick from it though, so I'll have to drain my stomach in a little bit, but then now we're going to go and visit my niece and nephew, I'm just waiting for mum to finish in the toilet, and I'm, at, I'm loving my highlighter today, so... Yeah, that's what we're up to. Hi guys, so it is now Wednesday. I finished my makeup. I filmed a look on this. It's all ColourPop makeup. Um, and then today I've just got a little bit of shopping to do. And other than that, chilling at home until I've got a doctor's appointment at 4.10. I also filmed how I look after my stoma. So hopefully some of that will help some of you understand what a stoma is. Um, and yeah, so that's today's plan. So I wanted to show you guys the, um, turtle tank. We've brought it home. We haven't completely set it up, but it's in. So I thought I would show you guys. This is the turtle tank. It's got a ledge for turtle to sit on. Um, there's a bit here where you can hide all the wires. That comes off for you to hide the wires. Um, mum will redo that. And then we've got a cabinet underneath to put all turtle stuff in. It's just a big cabinet. So I might put some shelving in there to put all of his stuff in. But overall, it's a really good tank and it was a really good buy. So it comes with rocks and everything to put on the bottom. So I'm just going to, over the next few days, clean it and set it up ready for turtle. Hi guys. So I um, want to ask you all a question. I want a unisex name for the turtle because I'm not sure what um, what gender this turtle is going to be and um, I it's hard it'll be hard for me to tell myself so someone else will have to tell so I thought I should use a unisex turtle name so if you have any suggestions please leave them down in the comments below and I will send a little gift to the person whose name I choose so that'll mean a little giveaway so please leave your suggestions and um, yeah, the rest of today I'm just hanging around the house until my doctor's appointment. So that should be good. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing some editing, editing together the parts of the weekly vlog I've got and then this ColourPop tutorial. Also, a question I wanted to ask you is, I have a whole lot of pre-filmed videos with my old camera. Now the quality is a lot different with this camera. Do you think it's worth me redoing all of those videos or do you think it doesn't matter either way? Because I'm happy to redo those videos but if it doesn't make a difference to anyone's like anyone's opinion on the video then I'll just leave it as it is. So if you could let me know down below that would be good. Hi guys, so a little bit of an update. I went to my doctor's appointment and um, I have an infection that the antibiotic that they would use is contraindicated in Ellis Danlos. So I have to be admitted for IV antibiotics um, at Fiona Stanley Hospital. Um, I will either be admitted or have hospital in the home, but um, a GP can't, can't 
get Silver Chain to do hospital in the home without an infectious disease consult for this type of antibiotic I need. So me and mum are tossing up on whether to go now, it's like 5 o'clock at night, or go first thing in the morning when the waiting times are shorter. So I think we're going to go first thing in the morning, but I will keep you updated. The um, tube's sore and I'm tired and just don't feel well. So. Um, I think maybe a night at home will do me good and get me prepared for whatever's to come tomorrow. So I'll keep you updated. So it's 6.30. I had a bit of sleep, thankfully, um, and 6.30 a.m. So we're going to head over to Fiona Stanley once mum gets dressed and try and sort this whole infection thing out. I've got a letter from the doctor stating why I need to be there, so hopefully that helps. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to hope that this goes smoothly. It's it's kind of frustrating having to have another admission, or possible admission, another ED trip at least, at least. But I know that that's the best place for me at the moment, so yeah. Um, I'll try and keep you as updated as I can. Hi guys, so um, I'm in the hospital at the moment. Then tossing up whether we need to remove the tube and give me a new one because of the infection. I've had one lot of antibiotics. It's pretty, it's looking like I have to stay overnight for them to organise anything at home and to figure out whether I need this tube out. So that's the update for the moment. It's about one o'clock and um, I've just been sleeping all morning when I can. So I'm just really tired, but other than that, I'm doing all right. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update. It's hard to film in here because people are coming in and out, but I thought while it's quiet for a minute, I'd give a quick update. So um, yeah. I'm up on the ward now, still no more updates, but I wanted to show you my view. This is the view from my room. There's a lake over there, and then down there is where some people eat meals, but that lake's gorgeous, so something bright on a, you know, sad time. So I'm just going to rest and try and recover. So um, the doctor's just been in. The bacteria that is growing on the tube is something that is found in the gut quite regularly. So they think that the issue is more of I need better wound care and um, management of the skin than an actual serious infection that needs the IV antibiotics when you compare my blood results. But they have warned me that this may flare up, I may get worse, but for now there's bugs in the hospital that I could catch that I don't need. So I need to go home, keep in contact with my GP and try and ride it out, um, unless it was to get worse and then I need to come straight back to emergency. So we'll be on high alert for the next few weeks. Um, and especially as my GP's away, it's a little worrying as I'm seeing a new GP, but she is lovely. She has helped so much through this and I trust her. So I feel like it's all gonna be all right. So I should be going home within the hour, thankfully, um, and get some rest at home because I'm really tired. You can see the bags under my eyes. I'm just, I'm just exhausted and I'm honestly, like I sort of put a post on Facebook, but I'm just over this constant battle of something is always wrong like there's always another another health struggle or another thing that needs to be checked by the hospital um, we know how serious my health is so I need to um, I just need I just I think I just need a bit of time to process and get over this rough patch mentally but I'm glad I'm going home and can be in my own environment. So thank you and I will talk to you soon. 
Um, just something I also wanted to share with you is every time I go into hospital, because I'm a private patient, I have private health cover here in Australia, I get one of these little packs that have body lotion, conditioner, shampoo, body wash, a bright toothbrush and toothpaste and I never use them really I've got my own stuff so what I do is I keep them and then I donate them to a homeless shelter because this stuff is so valuable to someone who is homeless and to me it's just going to sit in a drawer or get thrown out so if you're a private patient and you bring your own toiletries I'd really encourage you to just collect these and once I've got about 10 of them I just give them to the homeless shelter and they're always so appreciative so um, yeah I just wanted to mention that hi guys so it is now Friday I've had a pretty easy day I just went and did some shopping and then I've done some filming I just filmed some declutter videos I wanted to show you where Addie is at the moment so you try. She is in a box. She's a cat in a box. So that's what she's doing at the moment. Um, I just wanted to update you and let you know how I'm doing. I think the weekend will probably be pretty quiet unless I go out with the girls on Sunday. So I'm just taking it easy. I've decluttered some stuff which makes me feel really good. And yeah, other than that, not much is going on today. So it's Sunday, as you can tell by the look of me, I had a really rough night last night. Um, was up vomiting a lot and then seizing and then just felt like crap. So this is the end of this week's weekly vlog. I will see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. Um, if you've got to answer the questions that I us in the middle of the week that would be really good and if you could like and comment that would be great um i've also noticed that some of the people that watch aren't subscribed so if you're watching and you're not subscribed i would love it if you would subscribe it's free and it, it all it means is you keep updated on my videos and it helps me out so if you could do that that would be great so i will see you in the next one bye